What is the maximum height for a ball thrown upward off the ground so that the distance above the ground after t seconds is this function, and that is in feet. So the maximum height, of course, this is a, we can make that plus zero and formally call it a quadratic. And it should look something like this, right? <clears throat> that was really ugly, but maybe something like that. <clears throat> uh, what this means is that we have a parabola. And if we can find the vertex of that parabola, we'll know the maximum height of the ball. So, in this case, we're going to have to use the formula for a vertex. So, negative b over 2a. And then the y value is the function value of negative b over 2a. So, hopefully this one doesn't look too new. All right. <clears throat> So let's find uh, negative b over 2a stuff. And in this case, the b value is 32. And the a value is uh, negative 16. So if I evaluate this, looks like I get, well, yeah, that's positive one, actually. So there's my x value for the vertex. In other words, it happened one second after the ball was thrown. And now I can plug this back into the equation. So in other words, we're looking for h of 1, right? Which means I'd have negative 16 times 1 squared plus 32 times 1. Pretty easy to solve, hopefully. That would be negative 16 plus 32. So the height after one second would be 16 feet. So 116, and again, we're looking for the distance above the ground, which is what h of t is. That's our y value, 16 feet.